So if I asked you guys if, I, if y'all wanted to see a video of my plushes I collected over the years, would you guys be interested in seeing that video? No! Well, too bad. Here's the video. Enjoy. Hello, YouTube. My name is Wobbly Five Six Nine, and welcome back to another video. Now, I know I'm a little, I'm very behind on showing you guys my costume for Halloween and Comic Cons and stuff like that. But I promise, uh, I have a, I I'm off today. It's Wednesday, and I work all day tomorrow and Friday. But I'm off this weekend, and I promise that I will have that video out either Saturday or Sunday before Monday for sure. Uh, before Halloween for sure, and it before um before the weekend is over. But anyway, I wanted to make this video. This big ass pile behind me is my plushes that I've collected over the years and it started out as a simple collect some DDLC merch and then it just expanded to a bunch of other stuff. Uh, stuff I bought online, stores, Walmart, Comic Con and stuff like that collected I've, over the past four years. Uh, because believe it or not, when I was in high school and middle school and when I had my own room, I would just have a, a empty wall of nothingness on my wall. I would never have any posters and wall scrolls and autographs and stuff like that. Uh, but since I've gotten older and gotten better, uh, 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 became a lot of stuff. I, I would be collecting a lot of stuff because all I would ever collect is movies and CDs throughout when I was well in high school, and then I collected other stuff to mangas, books, plushes, and stuff like that. Now, these are in no particular order, I just have them pile up and just do it one at a time. I don't know how long this video is going to take, but I am going to do it in one go and just go into great details of you know my pillows and plushes and stuff that I have gotten. Online, Comic Cons, Walmart, Best Buy, whatever fucking store, GameStop, whatever you want to call it. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm not going to edit this besides the intro and outro, so just bear with me. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to show you guys right off the bat are these two pillows I picked up at, well, I actually picked up this pillow at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con this year. And of course, it's the Rita the Grimbury pillow. I picked it up this er, this year, actually, right after I met a. Uh, Marty Grabstein, Curse of Carly Dog, and it was, I saw this, I was walking by a bunch of pillows, I saw it the year before, and nothing piqued my interest, and the booth that I saw it in, I saw the Rhea's Greenery pillow, so I walked in, uh, into the uh, to the booth and I asked him how much was the Rhea's Greenery pillow, he said 20 bucks, and he had some other stuff, I know he had like a high school DXC mouse pad, it's actually the same guy, uh, same booth where I got this Akino cup that I've had uh, uh, since then, and he was also telling me that the person who was selling this also has met Jamie Marquis at a previous convention. He said that she was a very nice lady, so hopefully one day I'll be able to meet her. I'm still trying to get everything sorted out with that. Uh, but anyway, this is the Rage Grimmy pillow. Nothing much on the back and everything, but I wanted to show you guys. And then, uh, during before everything was sold out of the Miko Expo merch, I decided to get a Miko Expo pillow. I did get a Miko Expo shirt. I did not attend Miko Expo, but I got a shirt pretending that I did. <laughs> but this is a very nice pillow. This is the superhero theme pillow for the theme for Miko Expo 2024, which I've heard it was a train wreck because it was a TV and not a hologram like it usually is, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to go next year. We'll see. But anyway, this was just a simple Miko Expo pillow that I've liked, that I've really liked. Um, we'll show this guy right off the bat. Uh, so I can't remember where I got this from, but I picked up a plush, uh, Freddy Krueger, my all time favorite horror villain from my favorite horror, all time favorite horror movie, Nightmare on Elm Street. I know people say that it hasn't, um, it hasn't aged well over the years, which I think it's aged over well. You know, apparently it's got a 95, uh, uh, over 90% of Rotten Tomatoes. Other horror movies probably got like 70, 80%. Uh, this is uh, Freddy, uh, Freddy Krueger, my all-time favorite horror villain. Nightmare on Elm Street's my favorite horror movie and my favorite horror franchises of, of all time. So I really like that. Robert Englund does a fantastic job as Freddy Krueger and everything. So you got a pl you got the thing, you got flush, you know, scenes of better days, but all that good stuff. And also I got the Race Grinder pillow here, which you guys seen that a thousand times. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll show the big ones in order glass. I picked up when I really liked the Space Jam, a new legacy movie, but now I don't care for it that much. I picked up a Lola Bunny plush at Walmart, right, I think right before, right after uh, Space Jam, a new legacy came out. You know, I was excited for that movie, and you know, I looking back, I don't, I'm not a fan of that movie. I think LeBron James is a pussy ass crybaby bitch. It should have been uh, either Stephen Curry or Kobe Bryant, rest his soul. Uh, but it should have been anybody else besides fucking LeBron James. But anyway, this is my Lola Bunny push I picked up right after the movie came out. So very cool and everything. It's, like I said, it's faded out and the head's about to, her head's about to pop off and all that good shit. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got, I'm trying to do all the combinations. Um, I got, hey, Monica, where's she at? Where's the other one at? There she is. I picked these up at the, not the dollar store, the Disney store. Uh, I think in 2021 when I went the first time and I or the second time and I picked up the duo 
Uh, Lady and a Tramp from Disney's Lady and a Tramp. Of course, I wanted to get the Tramp, but of course, I saw they had Lady, so I figured I had to get both of them. I had a couple hundred bucks. I think it was the second time, actually, because I remember seeing Steel Panther in Fort Smith, and then the very next morning, that night, and then the next morning, I went over to Branson, Missouri. So I think I got this the second time. I remember the first time I picked up this set or something that I ended up breaking, and so I decided to end up getting plushes of Lady and the Tramp from Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Uh, these are from the original ones. This is from the, from the 1955 Disney movie, along with the 2001 director video sequel and all that. Um, and of course, the, the, when the remake came out, it was one of the first things to be released off of Disney Plus, because the day leading the remake of Leading the Tramp ran out was the same day that uh, the Hair Mouth was the same day Disney Plus got released. And I wasn't too crazy, but I'm not a real. I don't really care for live Disney live action remakes, especially how stupid they're becoming and with the, everything else and all the drama and Disney's going woke and everything. But anyway, these are the Lady and the Tramp plushes. Put these to the side. Um, what's next? What's next? Might as well show her. Well, I also, I also picked up this pillow. Uh, Miko Pillow at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con this, uh, earlier this year. Uh, like I said, I got some stain. I got a stain on it. Uh, actually, I thought I had a stain. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. But it ended up having rib sauce on it. I don't know where the rib sauce came from. But it barbecue sauce. Uh, but I picked this up at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. I actually picked it up at, yeah, Northwest Arkansas Rogers. It's got a back set with, I think, pink Luke, uh, pink Miku, and then front, uh, regular Miku. And so, um, and so when I went to Missouri Comic Con, they had the same booth there again and had this. So they were, it was like 30 bucks or something. The same pillow was $25. So not too bad. I over, I over, I overspend at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con because I went up there with about 700 bucks Saturday morning. And when I came home Saturday, Sunday afternoon, I had about $110 to my name. So 200 of that went to the hotel. I would say about 150, 160 went with to autograph scene and Ralph Halsey's picture and autograph because they were the only ones I autographed um so but yeah and so I also bought the Frias pillow Akino cup Miku pillow uh what else is it about hotel I spent $20 on a cheeseburger and fries at the bar and everything uh what else did I want to take I know I had a bunch of other stuff oh might as well show these I picked these up today um Walmart updated their crunchy roll um area on the entertainment aisle and they have a couple of my as of right now they had a couple of my hair academia plushes first ever one we got deku and i also bought todoroki um from my hair academia and these are these are really cool plushes i thought about buying some online off the crunchy roll website i thought now i'll get it another time but when i saw that they had some in stores and like it has in store they have a couple of other figurines of deku bakugo todoroki and all might which I want to try to get those for Christmas or Black Friday. And of course, around this time of year, my mom's like, my parents are like, don't. My mom's like, don't get anything. Wait till somebody gets it to you for Christmas. Like, mom, I'm 25 years old. I'm buy have my own money. I'm gonna spend it on whatever I want. Uh, but my, like, my mom, bless her heart, she loves goes out for all Christmas and gets everybody Christmas gifts. Um, anyway, I got Deku and Totoroki. I still have not took the tags off since I got these today. So very cool. And of course, I have. Uh, Oh, well, I'll show this. I have uh, Easter Bunny plush, uh, Blue's Clue, uh, Blue from Blue's Clues, and you. I have the original Blue's Clues plush somewhere that came with the notebook from Edna I picked up in um, 2018 when I first moved to this house. Uh, I have it somewhere. I don't know if it's in my closet or under my bed. I try to get all the stuff I got under my bed. But anyway, this is the Blue's Clues in you plush. Uh, I want to show all my DDLC stuff last. Um, I think a couple of other stuff. Oh, show... Um, I got this Bambi plush. I think did I get it at Box Lunch or Cracker Barrel? I can't remember. If I, I can't remember if I got it at Cracker Barrel or Box Lunch. I, I'm gonna say it, I got it at Box Lunch when I went to Tulsa uh, October of last year. Uh, I bought I bought two Bambi plushes. I can't remember where the other one went, but I believe one of them was at Cracker Barrel, and I do believe this one was at Box Lunch. I remember buying a Bambi plush at Cracker Barrel. Um, if we don't know what Cracker Barrel is, it's a Southern Reef Fried Country Chicken Restaurant that also has a store in it. Um, really cool stuff you can get there. Anyway, when I went to Tulsa, a last year for for shopping and zoo, and then take my and my brother going to wrestling, I picked up that Miku picture frame, wooden picture frame, and along with a Bambi play, uh Funko. This is actually in the Funko form, and all the Funkos I ever get is just to buy here academia stuff. But, uh, I wanted to get a Bambi plush. I think it was like 10 bucks, but it was the first time I ever experienced going into Box Lunch. When I went to the Tulsa Mall, that was the legit mall. Our mall we have is like, has named stores like Hot Topic, Spencer's, um, 
uh, tar not Target, uh, top, uh, shoe stores and everything like that. But if you go to a, a big store in a mall like Tulsa or whatever, they have the box lunch, they have the Apple store, they have every store. We used to have an Air Apostles in Abercrombie and Fitch, and they shut down. Uh, usually a lot of stores that should leave the mall usually go over to the pavilion in Fort Smith. Uh, but Air Apostles and Abercrombie and Finch shut down and they haven't been opened up. But they're still so I went to I went to look around at the um, Air Apostles store in Tulsa, at the Tulsa Mall, and that was actually the first place I ever bought mall clothes for the very first time when I was fifteen. My parents gave me two hundred bucks. I said, Well I'm gonna go to the mall and buy a pair of skinny jeans, which I'll never ever do that again. And I bought a, a couple of decent shirts, it was like 30 bucks. But now, probably in 20, 10 years later, you're probably pushing at 100 bucks. But anyway, this is my Bambi plushie, so. And what else? I know I got a couple of other stuff. Oh, there it is. I got my original Blues Clues, Blues Clues plushie. This was from the 1998 uh, plush, along with the notebook from Anna, which, uh, which I have in my drawer, in my closet. But I wanted to show the original Blues Clues plushie, which is actually in really great condition. Um, it's got the got the her paw print on there. It came with a notebook on one side with the clues and everything, and I figured I would pick that up. It was a lot of people were selling it online for 60, 70, 80 bucks, but I did find a good one, a good one in good condition for about say about 25, 30 bucks. I can't remember, but I remember uh, I think a week after I moved into this house, I ended up buying it. So this was uh, my Blues Clues original Blues Clues plushie with the paw print. Hello, and then what else do we got? What else do we got? Um. I got a couple of Mikus. This was the first ever non-autograph thing I picked up at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con in 2023. The year John Heater, Charles Martin, and Billy West was there. I was walking around. I was there for a couple hours. I stayed all day Saturday and stayed for till about two o'clock on Sunday. Uh, and so we in the um, so I walked around. I was debating on getting an autograph from Veronica Taylor, who plays the original Action Pokemon. Or go see if I can find another plush and everything. And I found two different types of Miku plushes, which you can tell she's dirty, filthy, bless her heart. It was either this one for 20 bucks or get a bigger one for 40 bucks. I decided to get the regular one for 40 bucks and maybe they're there next year. They gave me their business card, but I can't find their damn website anywhere. Uh, but anyway, I picked up this Miku plush the, uh, the year. I think I got two, three autographs, uh, this Miku plush, a shirt for me and a shirt for my former boss who I don't even speak to anymore but anyway this is the Miku plush and then when I went to Hot Topic actually I had a, I got approved for a $500 Hot Topic credit card back when I was getting approved for stuff so I bought like $200 worth of shirts and a couple plushes and this one I bought online and I bought that Miku frame or picture frame when I used the rest of my credit uh, get Hot Topic credit card but anyway this was a Miku to where it I don't know if you can take that off or not but I'm not even gonna try but anyway this is a Miku plush another Miku plush and I think that's all that. All that good stuff. Oh, you have Knuckles. I have Sonic and Tails somewhere, but I don't know where the fuck they are. Barely under my bed. I was too lazy to find out. Anyway, let I think all I got left is the DDLC stuff. Which, of course, you all know how much I love DDLC and everything. Um, first thing I want to show you is this recent Monica plush from Sanchi that... Uh, I knew somebody who wanted to get this pre-ordered and when it came out and so when I found out they pre-ordered I sent them a link and they bought it right off the bat. I bought it right off the bat. Uh, it actually didn't it was a pre-order but I actually shipped out I think a couple like five or six days later and I was able to get it a week and a half later and you know one of the things I didn't know that it, this has a magnet with delete and you can put it on either hand. Very cool. I know they earlier this year I think the day that I had my cyst removed from my mouth surgery uh, they also announced the other girls, Sori, Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri, to um, have other stuff, which you can go on the Sanshi website if you go to DDLC merch website. It'll send you the links to all their uh, stuff they sell, like Spencer's, Sanshi, Good, uh, Good Smiles, a lot of other stuff, and all that. And they have that on the Sanshi website. They're pre-orders right now, but they said they should ship out uh, at the at the in, at the last quarter of 2024. So hopefully pretty soon. I pre-ordered the Natsuki one uh, right as of right now. Maybe by the first of the year I do Sioria and Yuri because I, like I tell people said if I have to get one of the girls plushes or whatever I have to get them all. I've thought about getting a DDLC tattoo of Natsuki, but then I realized if I have to get her, then I have to get all of them. Just how it is. That's why I, I haven't bought uh, any uh, uh, knee drawers or whatever the call because if I have to get one, I have to get all. The only thing I only have uh, you choose was is not to get because I was going to get the other ones. It's not that they're expenses, but it takes over a month and a half for the ship. Uh, they've shipped it out, I think, a couple days later, but it took over a month and a half to get. So maybe one day in the future. But anyway, this is the Monica plush from Sanshi. And 
These aren't on sale anymore, but these are the pillows to where DDLC released when they released DDLC Plus. Uh, so you can tell these are their uh, picture, uh, poses for the uh, from DDLC Plus pictures. Like you got Siori on this side and on the back she has cookies because she likes cookies. And then for example, with Yuri, uh, she has a book in her hand. This is the same pose she has on the, uh, the, uh, the promotion picture or the flyer. And she has books because Yuri likes books. Um, Monica, you know, you know, people like Monica, really like Monica, and she's one of the most popular ones. You know, she's got Monica with a poem and a pen and everything offering your... People say she's offering your hand to the Litter Club, but I believe uh, she's hailing that hand in for you to get out of... The, for her to get out of the, the her world to the real world. And on the back, you got piano because she's a talented piano player. And then, of course, you got Natsuki, which is like we all know best girl in my opinion. On the back, she's got cupcakes and she likes bacon. And then I got the OG... DDLC pillows, which you can't even get anymore, unless you spend fucking thousands of dollars on eBay. Where the hell is Yuri? There she is. And of course, these are of course these have seen you. These have seen better days. I got all these during COVID. I remember the first one I bought was Siori, and then I ended up buying Natsuki, really cool. And then I ended up buying Yuri and Monica. Of course, Monica's hell hell is a hair tail about to pop off. Uh, which I don't think it is, but you know, we got Yuri and everything on there. <laughs> and then I also got, no, they're called plush pillows, and I actually got all the OG plushes that you fortunately you can't get no more unless you spend thousands, hundreds of dollars off of eBay. But I do have the original OG, pill, OG plushes. Uh, you got Sayori, you got Yuri, you got Natsuki, and you got Monica. Which you know I don't know why you're hitting, but it's really cool to have these. And of course, I've had the I have the stickers for everything too as well. So it's very cool to have all those. And I think that is about it for my plush video. For the plushes I have, I know I should have some more somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I don't know if they're in storage, if they're in my closet, if they're under my bed. But as of right now, those were all the plushes I have on my bed. Uh, probably wondering how come I don't have a Reyes Groomery plush. Well, well, how come I don't have a Reyes Groomery Funko? They don't, I haven't made them. Uh, well, I know there was one who made, there was a, there was a, somebody who made Rhea's Grooming Plushes, and they sold them for like 80 bucks, but they sold out like that. Um, somebody made custom Rhea's Grooming Refunkos, but those were like 400, 500 bucks. Uh, but I am happy with my body pillow and, or my body pillow and then the regular pillow as well. And of course, my autograph of Jamie Marquis with Rhea, so that's always good. But that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what kind of plushes you guys have. Let me know which one was your favorite of the ones I have. Hopefully, well, this video wasn't too long of a video. This oh no siori um <laughs> but anyway i am gonna end the video here go pick up siori hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below thank you guys a lot for watching i'll see you on the future video take it easy